greetings welcome to our official youtube channel petaka technologies in this video we will teach you how to calculate average of total in power bi looking at the sample data set we have a project table which contains two columns first column project name contains the name of the various projects handled by the organization and in second column time taken contains the duration of months to complete the respective project using this source data we are going to calculate average of total with the help of dax functions in power bi then we will visualize the final output in table visual let's start with creating measure we use dax functions in calculated measure to calculate average of total in power bi to create new measure select new measure from table tools tab the calculated results of measures are always changing in response to your interaction with your reports once you click on new measure we can see the formula bar where we can write the dax to calculate average of total in power bi we have renamed the new measure as avg tl is the short form of average of total firstly we create variable to store the value of total number of rows we use where keyword and name this variable as count of rows we start writing the dax function with calculate dax function calculate function is the often used dax function in power bi even though calculate function cannot do anything it works as a base function to apply other dax functions in different scenarios so the calculate function evaluates the expression given by the user with all the applied filters the syntax of the calculate dax function is calculate open parenthesis expression comma filter comma filter to and closing parenthesis expression parameter is nothing but what is the expression we need to perform filter one parameter is based on the expression given what is the filter we need to apply filter two parameter is based on the expression given what is the second set of filters we need to apply and expression is the first option we use count rows dax function to count the total number of rows in project table comma we use all dax function and select project table and close the parenthesis of all dax function and close the parenthesis of calculate dax function shift enter we create another variable to store the sum of time taken we use where keyword and name this variable as total time is equal to we use calculate dax function and within that calculate dax function we use sum dax function to get the total of time taken column we select time taken column and close the parenthesis of 
sum dax function shift enter comma use tab then in filter parameter we use all select in all we select project table and close the parenthesis of all dax function and close the parenthesis of calculate dax function shift enter next use return keyword to get the results shift enter we use calculate dax function then we use divide dax function to divide the total time and count of rows for that we put total time comma count of rows comma for alternate result we give zero closing parenthesis of divide dax function comma now we use all dax function and select project name column from project table and close the parenthesis of all dax function and close the parenthesis of calculate dax function we are done press the enter key to get the new measure after we have created a new measure it will appear in one of the tables on the field span which is found on the right side of the screen power bi inserts the new measure into whichever table you have currently selected while it doesn't matter exactly where the measure is in your data you can easily move it by selecting the measure you can use a measure like any other table column just drag and drop it onto the report canvas or visualization fields let's visualize the output in table visual go to report view select table visual from visualization make it in focus mode drag project name from project table and place it in columns drag time taken column from project table and place it in columns you can see it's automatically calculated the sum of time taken column then we drag average of total measure and place it in columns now table visual looks like this we can see the average of total in third column overall total is 224 and it is divided by number of rows in this example we have total 9 rows so 224 divided by 9 and the average of total is 24.89 if you want to format this table then go to format your visual and you can also change the style from default to alternating rows even if you want to increase or decrease the value size or changing the font you can try it here make it bold and we can also change the column headers make it header alignment center and make it bold 
this is the simplest way to calculate the average of total in Power BI. If this video helpful to you, like this video and share this video with others. Ask your questions or share your feedback in below comment section. To watch more videos like this, visit the official YouTube channel Petaka Technologies. To book your slot for online training, visit the official website petakatechnologies.com. To get notifications on upcoming videos, subscribe to this channel and activate bell icon. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.